What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Keeper RL. My name is Splattercat. Stoked to have you here today as we have for a little while and continue to expand our evil empire of evilness. As we go through and we support things like farting inside of elevators. And oh, I don't know. Snoring in rooms full of people. You know, the truly evil stuff in life. The really insidious things. Getting onto the freeway at 25 miles an hour. The really, really insidiously evil shit that people do. We don't mess around with the treasury and the banality of common evil, like stabbing people. That's something we don't care about. We're doing the real evil, the stuff that really, really harms the world and makes everything worse. Oh, we got another orc shaman. Good, well that'll help out with our mana. How are we looking as far as it? we should probably take alchemy, we should probably take advanced alchemy, two-handed weapons is probably smart, as is. The ability to do archery, probably a good plan. In today's episode, we're probably going to get ourselves up and running with a forge on this side. So there we go. And then we're also going to make laboratories so that we can start brewing potions, because potions are pretty rad. I don't think we need that many cauldrons over here. I'm not going to build that many, but so far in the previous episode, we killed an ant colony, which was pretty good. I don't know why your mom's sister has so many colonies, but she does. We murdered them. It was very, very difficult to poison them or make them sick because, as always, they have little antibodies. Although they had big antibodies, so that makes the joke even funnier. Uh, we could do iron dummies if we really, really wanted to. We've got like 5,000 in here. I don't see a reason why that's not a thing that we should do. So let's go ahead and do it. We'll add in a couple of iron ones in here. Oh good, the Orc Shaman has learned the spell of escape. That should allow them to train to like an even higher level, I think. Like these ones right here, the wooden ones, I think let them get up to like level 8. And then I think the iron ones will probably let them get up to like level 10. And then there's a steel one up above that that'll probably take them up to 12 or something like that. I don't know though. Installations. I'm going to build another statue because I have the cash to do it. And why not? It's not like we're using the money for anything anyways. We have 9,000 wood right now. Let's say that we sit down on this side and we start looking at some of the stuff we can do. We can make chain armor, we can make iron helms, iron boots, war hammers. Swords, I think, are probably going to be the most important. We're sitting on 4,500 right now. Hmm. I'm going to wait on going in on a bunch of this stuff because it's expensive and we don't really have access to that much iron. So I've got to be a little bit of a choosy Susie about how I want to spend my resources. They're all in here training and doing their thing. I don't think they're going to have much else to do anyways. On this side, we can make potions now, though. Potions of healing, potions of sleep, potions of poison resistance. I'm going to say let's do potions of invisibility. Yeah, that sounds great. Make a potion of invisibility, and it looks like actually he's responsible for that. Although even at their level, it's taken them a while to craft it. So good, we found something that's a challenge for our little dudes to craft. An orc has reached experience level 10. Yeah, so the iron ones really, really allow them to really buckle down and get better at their jobs. If I take a look at my monster list right now, let's take all these orcs and we'll add them back to the team. We'll add all these shaman back to the team. It looks like they're training up at a reasonable rate. I would suggest that we take maybe a keeper and like a small vanguard of goblins with us, possibly. And we... We're going to take control of this team right here. We're going to press T to go to the travel menu. And we're going to go dig around inside the emaciated corpse of this ant society. Now, we got to be careful that there aren't any dwarves around. That's a big part of this. If there are dwarves around, it may become problematic for us. But my goal here is to collect all of the leftover stuff that was in the area. And you actually equip that chainmail because it's good for you. He can't do the battle axe. He can do the iron boots, though. Anything that puts his defense up a little bit higher, because as I've said previously, if he dies, we lose. That's it. The game is over. Start from scratch with a new map. There's a rage mushroom, and we are now overloaded. That means that what I would do is I would switch control over to one of these goblins right here. One of me little grots. I will take that leather armor. I will take that. Although it looks like the armor can get damaged too because some of it has like a zero armor in it. Ooh, 30 gold. Yes, please. Yeah, so I don't know if there's any point picking up the stuff that has zero armor on it. I think that's stuff that... Ooh, yes. 
can't pick that up, but there are still like good things in here. So let's switch control over to that goblin now. We'll take the leather. We'll take the sword. We'll take the chain. And I think that's about all we're going to be able to hoop out of here. I'm a tiny bit nervous about this hallway over here. There's just far too many of our bodies piled up over here, but I think that's all that there was left to to run through. Okay. Yep. Release them. They'll make their way back to town whenever they make their way back to town. They are all over encumbered, so it's going to take them a long ass time to walk back to base because they're only getting a turn like every three turns. And they'll drop some of this stuff back off over here. With you guys, have you guys been equipping any of the good stuff? Like, he's got busted-ass boots on. His gloves aren't working anymore. Does look like they do take damage over time. He's got an iron hat on, which is great. It's better than an iron heart on, I guess. Although, maybe that's a maybe that's a good thing. Although, if my dick spontaneously turned into iron, like, do you still get sensation? Feels like it'd be weighty, too. Like, you would develop some kind of, like, sore, or at least, like, the muscles down there from carrying it around with you would get, like, a little bit sore. You know, like, just that feeling from when you have, like, too much core day workout or something. You're like, God damn, I'm going to carry this thing around with me all day, every day. Then you have to come up with some kind of complicated support system suspenders type deal. Some Borat looking thing. Now well, we've got orcs at level 8, orcs at level 9. I would like to take a look at the map. And we'll see. Oh, yeah, the map's right there. We should probably go visit our allies and kind of like see what's up with them. We've actually never swung through and visited our allies yet. We're doing a pretty good job of mashing our way through this map, though. We've got zombies coming out pretty soon. I'll probably hit them next. And then after we've gotten done with the zombies, actually, we could probably go after Duplicity, too. That all seems like reasonable stuff to work on. Basically just killing off all the enemies that we don't like. Oh, there was kobolds over here. I never realized that there was kobolds on this map. I just learned a new thing. Is there more geology I can do? Master Sorcery, Expert Geology. Yes, there is. They're doing research down here. I do wish that research on caster classes would increase their XP, like, slightly. Just so that... I don't know. You've always got to be alternating them in between training and getting the shit done that you want them to do. I am going to take control of this team. And let's travel. Let's go see what's going on with the... Well, actually, we'll hit up the we'll hit up the ants first, because there's still gonna be like people and things out here that you can take. So if there's like villagers or whatever around here, I do want to make sure that I attack them as well. Although, actually, no, it looks like they're pretty much entirely inside of this cave. So let's go back up. We'll get the ores. Mm. Medical supplies, some of the swords and things that apparently I've walked right past. Man, these battlefields, you gotta pick through them and you gotta get all your good stuff back, otherwise it's just a waste. Just a giant waste. There we go. And then on this side, what I'll need to do is I'll need to switch control over to somebody else real rapidly. And I'll probably just load up all of the stone and all the ore onto him. It's not a lot, but, like, it is something. You know, it, it adds to the supply. It adds to the supply, which I think is a major issue. Like, our map only has so many resources on it. So if we could pick up 60 or 70 of this, that, or the other in various locations. Let's go see what's up with Duplicity. We're going to see if we can find his base over here. See if we can hit it and then quit it. Oh, it actually brought us in on a weird angle. Duplicity! Where is your home? Where have you built your lovely little place of business? Because I can be the only evil overlord on this map, not you. Uh, you can't cross shallow water. Deep water, you cannot cross. You gotta use bridges for that. It looks like we lucked out and he built a bridge for me, though. I don't see this guy's base anywhere. Although that would be the way to build it if you're trying to frustrate the enemy into quitting. 
the way to build it would be to like put it behind a tree inside of a wall very very difficult to find with like a one slot entrance and then just booby trap the shit out of that one slot so that, like no matter what they do they get run up on losing hella dudes to like poison and rock fall traps just to get inside hello anybody all I want to do is steal your stuff all I want to do is steal your stuff give it to me don't give me no guff all I want to do is steal your stuff until the sun comes up over Santa Monica Boulevard eh. I don't see it ah what is this? So we've got a defense amulet. Cool. Arrows, levitation boots. Wow. What is going on here? There is so much good stuff at the front end of his base. Does he just, like, give that to people? Yeah, give me strengthy gloves. Who doesn't love strengthy gloves? All right. We should probably switch control of somebody over here. Steel armor, there's a steel battle axe, Jesus. Oh shit, put the steel armor on. Might as well. The tribe of Duplicity the Keeper is stopped. Can I kill all of his little dudes too? I just want to murder everything that he's built inside of here. Oh, there's dwarves. That'll be fun to deal with. Wow, they went through that 20 armor from the steel like they didn't give a shit. You guys better fight. Wow. He cut me in half. I say we run away while we still have an army to run away with. Oh, they killed the orc. Or, I'm sorry, they killed the they killed one of the dwarves at least. Yeah, just run them back on over here. I see no reason not to. I mean, we kind of survived it. We've got a rage mushroom. An orc has joined our forces. Our population cap has gone up slightly. Our raiding party is back in here. Very, very nice. They should all come over to the stockpile and just like drop off all of their bullshit, I assume. And then I assume they'll get back to just like training. It's weird because, like, they bring back gear with them, but you never see them actually, like, drop it anywhere. Like, I guess they optimize. Like, they go through and they pick the things that they want, and then they're putting all the wood stuff and whatnot back. So that when the new guys come through, they get the shitty gear that basically guarantees they're gonna die. I've gotta wait for my population to fill back up. On this side, we are capable of making, like... Oh, I don't know. I would make, like, three or four chainmail armors. Not like a ton of them, but like some. I would also be interested about taking like a raiding party over to meet our allies. Like I would bring armies with me just in case I needed cover to escape. Because I don't know exactly what's going to happen in my allies' territory. And sometimes there are hostiles in weird places you wouldn't expect them to be. So in general, I would avoid the... In general, I would avoid the temptation of traveling alone with your keeper. Even if you're trying to be like super fast and just like get something done real quick. Oh wow, they're whipping that out pretty quickly. I mean, it's got a long crafting time, but... Hey, there's the gloves of dexterity. We probably want to put those on an archer, though, before anything else. They'd probably be really good on an archer. The boots of levitation. Just in case you just want to fly. Get your sugar ray on. So he produced chainmail armor. With regards to the chainmail armor... How good was it? Who picked it up? That guy? Somebody definitely picked up that chainmail, and I want to know who it was. He's got an iron hat. It's plus five. That's not terrible. I mean, it's not the best. I don't think it helps out versus dwarves. Dwarves just seem to go through... They seem to go through your armies in just an all-out nasty mashing... 
just a swirling, twirling motion of cleaving death through your armies. You gotta like outnumber them and also outgear them and everything else, and they're still whacking your dudes left and right. I can do. Let's go with humanoid mutation. I don't know what that altogether entails, but it looks like I can do some kind of mutation. Doesn't look like it'll happen from right here. But I assume that allow me to have like cyclopses and like ogres and like centaurs and stuff like that maybe. I don't know. It'll give me stranger creatures, creatures that are a little bit more different. An orc is producing chainmail armor. They're all sitting at level 9. I'm going to take control of this group and let's go see what's going on with our allies. Go visit the gnomes real quick and see if there's anything I can even do with the gnomes. Oh no, there's a dwarf. Yeah, I was gonna say, and my dungeon keeper is here. We need to like... Here, give me control of my dungeon keeper. Like, I'm okay with... I'm okay with combat. It looks like if we're, if we're equipped with swords, we're able to kill dwarves pretty easily. But if we don't have swords, it's like, they're just tough. Orc corpse right there. It looks like there's a poison gas in here or something, too. Did they kill that one, too? Oh, good. The dwarf is critically wounded by the orc's sword. That's what I like to see. Kill him, kill him, kill him all. I wasn't really expecting to fight dwarves on this map. That was not my intent. That's why I tell you, bring an army with you. I thought this was going to be the place where the where the gnomes were at, and I was wrong. Aw, oh, he killed one of my high-level goblins, you son of a bitch. Ooh, he almost got me. I like how they cycle in and out of combat when they're wounded. That's kind of a cool feature. I like that a lot, actually, how as they get wounded, they kind of bail out and they do different stuff. It's got chainmail and some other stuff in here. I would be inclined to say that we should probably come back at another time. Ooh, they got a bunch of gold, though. Yeah. Not going to stop me from raiding their little dwarf bank. So, uh... Oh, I'm wounded? Well, here, don't be wounded anymore. <laughs> So what's up, gnomes? Like, why are you not holding down your territory? Like, why you need me to come through and hold it down for you? Because that was actually a costly venture for me. I lost characters on that one. There's the gnomes. So level 2.5, just living alongside. Can I just take their stuff? Like, is there any reason not to come to their territory and just, like, take their things? I'm thinking this must be another one of those features that's not fully implemented yet. Oh shit, what just happened? Oh, there's bandits down here. And bats. And deep water. Oh, there's all kinds of bad shit happening here. Okay. Well, maybe I don't want to be down inside this dungeon. At least not with my keeper. It might be a poor choice. Okay, so that's a dead end room right there. I, I don't like bringing my keeper on adventures because every now and again he just catches like an arrow to the throat in the middle of combat and it just kills you instantly and you're just like, no, I'm so far into the game. I don't want it to happen like this. We've actually wiped out a lot of our enemies. Oh shit. Well, you better kill those lizard men. Apparently, we were under attack by lizard men. Although it looks like it's over now. Man, we cut we cut off their arms. We did all kinds of cool stuff. All right, release them. So who's under attack? Right? Are they inside my base? Oh, an ogre joined my forces. Hell yeah! Where's the ogre at? Let's see this dude. I don't think I've ever seen an ogre before.
You are under attack by Grong the Dwarf. Well, that could be problematic. Well, here, take control of my keeper. Because we need to fall back. If that is indeed the case, force them to come inside the training room and basically die in droves. There we go. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. How's our ogre doing? Where's our ogre at? Is our ogre dead? How many attackers are there? Like, way too many? Are we good? Like, that was a big attack. We got attacked by, like, dwarves and everybody else all simultaneously. I am poisoned by the gas. You know, I don't think that I am. I don't think that I am. Why is there poison gas in the hallway? Like, what's up with that? Goblin is killed by a lizard man. You're still producing chainmail armor. We have dead bodies, like, everywhere. However... Oh, we can build a throne now, too. Yeah, build a throne. Hell yeah, build a throne. We deserve it. We've earned it. God, I hope we get access to, like... Oh, they killed my ogre? That was the only ogre that I had. That was like the singular ogre. Ooh, what is that? A harpy? A Doomal the harpy. Ooh. Cool. It looks like she's pretty good at ranged stuff. Might be a useful character to have around. I don't know. We've gotten mutation done, so... Maybe it'll be awesome. So did we get all the gold and like all the things that we wanted to have from like, I'm glad we came back when we did because we got attacked at a really, really bad spot. We don't really have a ton of units left. As far as I can tell... We have 10, 12, oh, we got the two zombies. That, okay, that'll do it. So we got the two zombies, we got the harpies, we got the goblins. All right. Yeah, that's fine. We've got a zombie reaches level four. Man, everybody's leveling up right now. Well, shit, I may just leave them to it. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Keeper RL. I like this game a lot, and I think it's a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see how it develops. I don't think my throne is ever going to get built. I don't think it is. I thought we had the gold for the throne, and we're like 30 short. We're a little bit shy, and I thought with all the dead bodies that were around, eventually we'd get, like, the extra 30. But a 10 to our population cap would be fantastic. I'm going to let them hang out right now and just sort of, like, train. And then we'll come back in the next episode, and we'll decide who we want to hit next and how we want to how we want to proceed. Because the enemies are definitely starting to hit us back, like, straight nasty style. All right? I'll see you later, Nerd Castle. Oh, we're under attack again. Shit, well, I guess I'll let this one play out. Okay, so he ran off. He's not trying to fight with us anymore. All right. Well, the lizard men are no challenge, so that's a good thing. And frankly, it looks like they're just going to stock my coffers with gold by attacking me over and over and over again. So hell yeah, son. Hell yeah. I'm going to put my throne right there in the middle of the training room so I can watch my armies all around me doing the things that I expect them to do. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.